Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wengil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today we're talking about the South African town, the rural town that does not allow black people in. So in this town in South Africa, everyone is white and the town is called Orania and it's a rural area and it dates back to 1991. White Africans who were descendants of the 17th century Dutch colonizers bought and took over 19,000 acres of land on the banks of the Orange River. Under South Africa's post-apartheid constitution, white Afrikaners were able to create the privately owned town of Orania that legally operates autonomously from the central government. The white-only town holds a population of 2,500. First of all, it's the audacity for me. Second of all, how is the government allowing this to happen? How come there's no investigation going on? How come there's no consequence to their action? You are in Africa specifically in South Africa. You have a town within that country and you don't even give jobs to the locals. You don't allow them to own a house in your town. And the funny thing, the most hilarious statement that was made by them when they were asked, um, like, what do you say about the racism? How come nobody, no black person has a house here? They said, nobody has applied, like no one came. So that's why. Really, since 1991, you lived there. There's about 2,500 population. And you're telling me in South Africa where 80% of the population is black, no one has ever walked in your town and was interested in buying a house or was interested in having a job. You gotta be kidding. Like, you think we're dumb. Seriously, like now you're questioning our intelligence and I don't like that. Obviously, they're doing it on purpose. But what's annoying is the fact that the government is not doing anything. By the way, they also have their own currency. Um, a comedian actually on TikTok made a joke about this and she said, why use a note that has Mandela on it? Nope, no thank you. We rather have our own currency. She was making fun of them, but it's clear that they also don't associate themselves with with the locals with South Africans and they don't feel like they want to include them in their town or they want to be included in the society. So clearly that's their preference but how come this discrimination can be allowed in Africa? This is a legit question and this is not something no one should accept. This is absurd like seriously anyways fam let us know down below what your thoughts are about this have you heard of this town that does not allow black people and it's just white people let us know down below i am wangil zalalem i'll see you on the next one bye living in america as a black person you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those especially in the white community in our book passive aggressive racism in the system of white supremacy i take you through times in my life when i first started noticing white supremacy we teach you how to recognize it identify it and also counter it in our book this book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy as a black american person you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you how you handle it, how you deal with it. It can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy today on Amazon.